Um, so let's take a look. So overseeing your reading, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is about refining, perfecting, doing things, spending time working on something or on things. But this goes really well with Mercury Retrograde because this is about really doing a good job, really paying attention. So you guys might be functioning in this energy of very detail-oriented, wanting to perfect, wanting to refine, wanting to build type of environment. But we'll take a look and see how it plays into the rest of the reading. So in your past position, we have the Two of Wands. This is making a decision between two paths, two options, or looking at both paths and, or, you know, looking at them as if which you could go this way or you could go that way and your own visualization of what you want it to be or there were two actual paths or decisions that you had to make. For some of you, you started a partnership in the past, okay? It could be a business partnership, a love relationship, or whatever. In the more recent past, we have the Seven of Wands, which is a little defensive energy, feeling like you got to protect yourself, feeling like people were coming at you. Um, so there may have been a partnership that was giving you some stress and you kind of felt like you had to defend yourself from, or you felt like you had to defend yourself because in the center, yeah, in the heart of the matter, we have the Princess of Cups. So regarding a love offer, regarding somebody expressing their emotions to you or somebody close and sentimental to you, could have been a younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, but otherwise, it was regarding something that had to do with matters of the heart, right at the heart center of this reading. Matters of the heart, where there was a choice you had to make, and you felt like you had to protect yourself or were defensive in some way, or protect yourself. Yeah, and it looks like you could potentially stay here if you don't pay attention to this. This is the Eight of Swords coming out in your near future, or it could be your present state, okay? This is feeling like you're trapped and you can't move forward or make a decision, or it's like feeling like you can't in the mind. Swords are all the mind. So you're worried, you don't feel like you can escape, get out, go, whatever this might be coming out of here. So let me go ahead and clarify this because yours is a little bit complex here. We're going to take a look at what this Two of Wands, what was this decision? in the past. To move away from something that could have been bad or to move away from something that went bad regarding a partnership or one of the choices or options that you chose from. Didn't turn out well and you left. Okay. I don't know if it's Princess of Cups. So, in love matters, if you guys are involved with somebody, things are really good. You might be getting married. You might be, I mean, things are just really good, okay? This is coming through in the heart. Those of you that moved away from that tower, whatever that might be, it was something that broke down, exploded suddenly, a sudden event and you moved away from it, whether it was a job, a relationship, a situation, um, you're moving into, or you already have, into a good place here in terms of getting recognition at your work and also emotionally starting something new. So it looks like some of you may have had a difficult situation that you, you had to get out of or you felt you left. Could be a job, like I said, a relationship, whatever. But you're getting recognized, so maybe even looking for a new job, or there's new there's new energy coming in that's making you feel better about yourself, okay? Because definitely, I see you working something new and doing really good and getting recognition. So regarding this love situation, or this heart of the matter, or this emotional connection or situation, it looks like relationship's good. And if not, you got somebody here that's going to be expressing themselves to you. 
for those of you not involved with anybody. Okay, and it could be a water sign person, but I'm gonna go in further. Tell me more about the Prince of the Cups or Leo. Okay, so for some of you, it was a relationship that you left. Others of you, it's a job or whatever. There wasn't equal give and take, or they made you do too much for not fair pay if it was a job. And if it was a relationship, there somebody wasn't investing as much as they wanted, and it left somebody, okay, the Five of Cups is having regrets that something didn't work out, or remorse, or sorrow, or sadness, regarding the lack of give and take, or who was investing more in the relationship, or not investing, or even monetarily, or at a job, okay, but somebody here, and I feel like this is what I'm going to tell you. There's two scenarios going on and both of them, one looks like it has to do with work and one looks like it has to do with the relationship. Those of you already in the relationship, it's good. Things are moving forward. You're going to be getting married or whatever with the six of wands. It's like praise and happiness and everything good with the love matters of the heart. But some of you, this person wasn't giving you what you wanted or you weren't them and maybe they left the situation and there was a breakdown in this connection and it was regarding a lack of equal give and take or not investing enough or not giving enough to this connection and for some of you it is a taurus virgo or capricorn sun moon or rising remember you have to know their birth time to know or a person that's financially stable. Some of you, it could this could be a boss. Some of you, this is a partner or a love interest. But I see them contacting you or wanting to reconnect. This is the Six of Cups. This is about the past showing back up. We're in Mercury retrograde. So take what resonates. If you're in a relationship, your relationship is good. It's going to be getting better. If you were separated and had this tower moment, there's somebody from the past coming back. Could be an earth sign or a water sign, but doesn't have to be. Just think about the energies. Okay? But something happened to where you left that relationship or you left that job. Or both. And I see them wanting to reunite with you or you them. Or reconnect. You had a very good close connection. It could be a family member. And I got uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. King of Swords. They want to communicate seriously, come from a more mature perspective. And that's for those of you that ended it. They want to come back. Okay. And that's what I have for Leos. The, the rest of you, it looks like there's some money or a new job opportunity starting for you or money that's going to come to you, maybe even unexpectedly. Or it's something that you've been working towards, but there is money coming to you. Okay. And that's regarding a career or a job. And then we got the two of cups. So see there's your relationship. A lot of you Leos found somebody you're doing really well with. And this it's your soulmate. Okay. Others of you, this other person may have been air sign, water sign, or earth sign that you had a falling out with a tower moment and you moved, they left or you did. They're your soulmate too. For some of you, if this doesn't resonate with you, this is not your reading, okay? But they're your soulmate too, and they want to come back. Or it's a really good connection. All right, you guys. That's what I have for you. I hope that you found this helpful. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. If you'd like a personal reading regarding your own personal situation, that's how you can get it really specific to you. Because these are general. There's a lot of energies. But you can go to my website at www.illumastrology.com. Or you can email me at illumastrology at gmail.com. All right, Leos, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I kind of turned out to be a little bit of both. Um, I will be doing um, another reading for you guys, a relationship reading for those of you involved with someone or those of you that want to know who's coming in and what that's about. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, click the bell to get notified of my uploads as they come. Otherwise, thanks so much for joining me. Until next time.